Hi, I'm William Spaniel. Let's learn some game theory. Today we're going to talk about incentives to lie in the stag hunt. And this is actually a neat little result that I'm going to explain very quickly here. And it's also something that I want to add to my textbook when I get around to revising it uh, later this month. So we all remember the stag hunt. This is the strategic form of it. The idea here is that two hunters are going out to a range where they can either hunt stags or rabbits. Stags provide a lot of meat, rabbits do not, but the players need cooperation in order to hunt the stag. So the, together they both have to hunt the stag. And the dilemma here, of course, is that if you hunt a rabbit, you're gonna get meat for sure. But if you hunt a stag, you are pretty much relying on the other player to hunt a stag as well. Otherwise you go home with nothing. And there are two pure strategy Nash equilibrium in this game. There's also a mixed strategy Nash equilibrium, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. So those are the two pure strategy Nash equilibria, stag, stag, and rabbit, rabbit. And a lot of people get confused about what, you know, why would this rabbit, rabbit outcome ever plausibly occur? Why can't they just coordinate on the stag, stag outcome? It's clearly better for both players. Why would they ever end up at this rabbit, rabbit outcome? And moreover, if they could communicate with one another, why don't they end up at the stag-stag outcome? How could they ever possibly be stuck at the rabbit-rabbit outcome? And so let me put it to you this way. Suppose player two made a phone call to you as player one and told you that he was going to go hunt a stag today and that you should go hunt a stag as well. Would you ever believe that, you know, player two just made this phone call to you to lie to you and to, to try to convince you to hunt a stag and, and you know, really he's not going to hunt a stag and, and he's just actually just messing with you? Is there any reason for player two to lie when she makes this communication with you? And the answer actually is, in fact, yes, player two could actually be lying to you. And, you know, the, the phone call isn't necessarily saying to you for sure that player two is going to be hunting a stag. Now, why is that? Well, suppose player two had predetermined that she was going to hunt a rabbit. Notice what happens in relation to how you make your moves and the payoffs she receives from that. If you hunt a rabbit, she earns one. If you hunt a stag, she earns two. So actually, if player two is hunting a rabbit, she benefits from tricking you into hunting a stag. And so that's why you can't immediately believe player two when she says, hey, I'm gonna hunt a stag. Because of course, if player two actually is hunting a stag, she also wants you to hunt a stag because this three here is greater than this zero. But the problem is that the same is also true in the other case when player two is actually planning on hunting a rabbit. And so this phone call, this communication where player two is telling you to hunt a stag is actually not separating these two things. It doesn't actually inform you whether player two is actually planning on hunting a rabbit or actually planning on hunting a stag because regardless Regardless of what player two chooses, player two would actually rather you hunt a stag than, want, uh, than hunt a rabbit. And so there's a little bit of uncertainty here, so uncertainty here about whether or not player two is actually telling you the truth when she declares that she'll be hunting a stag when they actually play the game. Something to think about. I hope you enjoyed that video.